The national title in year two of the playoff. What for tonight in the desert? A strike and a touchdown again. It's Renfro. Look out, Kenyon Drake can fly. Touchdown, Drake. Alabama Crimson Tide is the champion of college football. Could we get a smile? How about now? You got it, baby. You got it. <laughs> And the sequel equal last year's classic. Here's Hurts again. Freshman sensation. Can you believe that? Two yards away from glory. Watson to the end zone. They did it. Oh, about College football and national champs. Clemson got been waiting 35 years. It's finally coming home, baby. It's coming home. Let's take a look at Clemson and Alabama, the road to Atlanta, brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. These teams, obviously familiar foes, having met the national championship each of the last two years. Bama, Clemson, three, the rubber match. The combined scores of those two games, by the way, 76-75 in favor of Alabama. We hear from both head coaches first, Dabo with Reese. <laughs> oh, man, excited. Uh, you know, I think that uh, obviously uh, they had a lot to consider from a committee standpoint, but... You know, they put the four best teams in there. I mean, Alabama has uh, been the standard for a long time. And, you know, we've had, uh, obviously, a, a couple huge battles with them, but excited about it. It's been 25 years since I've been to the Sugar Bowl, and, and it was with Alabama uh, at that time. So I think it's only fitting uh, to have a chance to advance to Atlanta. Uh, you got a, you got a uh, heavyweight matchup here with Clemson, Alabama, and, you know, we'll be excited about it. It'll be a great matchup. I think that they're still a, a, a very explosive offense. They still have lots of good receivers, weapons, skilled players who can make plays. And uh, I think Kelly Bryan is very capable of making plays. He's a different style player, but certainly capable of making explosive plays. But I think when you think about Clemson, you know, you got to start with what a great defense, what a great front uh, seven that they have, and how well they played all year. They're well coached. and. Uh, they really do a good job up front, and there'll be a challenge for, for, for us uh, to be able to effectively move the ball against them. So when you play a team like this, you've got to win offense, defense, special teams. You've got to do a great job in all areas to have a chance to be successful. Well, there's certainly no shortage of star power. Bama and Clemson part three. Of all the matchups, Booger, which one's the one you're most keyed up to see? Well, I want to see this Clemson offensive line against the Bama defensive line because I think that's where Clemson can have an edge. Obviously, this game has a little different feel in the last couple years. We came into this game the last few years saying, can Clemson compete with Alabama, this big, bad defense? Things are flipped now, guys. Clemson's the favorite. Can Alabama compete? Can Jalen Hurts score enough points? I think it's going to be a different feel going into the game. Are they now, really the favorite? I, I are think we they sure? are. I think they are. Vegas, Vegas may have Bama uh, as the favorite. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, but Clemson has been the best football team when they're healthy all season long. I would pick them right now today to beat Alabama, and it's because they're complete. Offensively, their defensive line, McShay, I think, is the single best group mm -hmm. in college football. When they play to their standard, yeah. they got four guys that are at least – Going to top two rounds, they can control a football game. I love what they do, but I want to see the offensive line of Alabama against that Clemson defensive I'm, line and both lines. I'm going team. with Booger over Las Vegas. Okay. <laughs> That's always the same thing. No, no question. I want to see the secondary of, of Clemson a little banged up this year. Mm. Mm. Can Hurts take advantage of it, though? That's the question. You've got Calvin Ridley. You've got some talent at wide out. Can they find a way to throw the ball down the field and exploit the, the coverage for Clemson? Because it has not been what we've seen in years past. And, and I think if they're able to protect or if Hurts can run around and create some extra time, extend some plays, then you have a, an opportunity maybe to take some shots down the field. But it has not been consistent being nice right now. But uh, <laughs> it has not been a strength of Alabama's. Let's put it that way. Jalen Hurts, again, at times, Coach, you see him, you go, this guy's unbelievable. And other times, you go, all right, could have used a little bit more of that, especially against Auburn. Well, you, you look at last year's game, really nearly lost two years ago, but lost last year because they couldn't get the ball. Mm. Couldn't keep the ball, got tired on and defense. And he scored late in the game, by the way, to give him the ball. And his defense right. needed to make a stand. He did his part at the end. Well, and Alabama's thinner this year on defense than oh. they were last year. They're not as good this year on defense as they were last year. But... It's really hard to run against the Clemson defensive front.
Yeah. And if they can't, I agree with Todd, Jalen Hurts is going to have to play his best game of throwing the ball downfield and beating some man coverage to win the game. Well, and I think on the other side, I want to see the, the, the guys that I haven't seen this year for Alabama, the injured linebackers. Mm. I want to see them come back and rush the passer because now they'll have a chance to get in shape over the bowl season. And, I, and I, when, they, when they harassed Francois in the, in the first game of the season, you were like, oh, that looked really good. Now, Francois's offensive line was less than stellar and has been for <laughs> no less than five years now, it seems <laughs> like. But um, so those guys, can they come back and make an impact? Because I'll say this, this, this defense doesn't hold a candle to the last two years' defense. Right. Right. Clemson's offense doesn't hold a candle to what it used to look like either. So it's kind of like which, which strength has gotten worse or, or been weakened the most to the side of the ball game. I just feel like when Clemson looks dominant, though, they're unbelievable. Like that game against Miami yesterday on all facets, they just demolished them. I, I don't see that happening against Alabama, but I'm with you. That's why. I Is like it fair to say that we kind of knew that was coming, though, with Miami? Because Miami kind of yeah. looked like they were at the edge of the cliff and yeah. ready to fall. You know, it, it, Virginia, they struggled. Right. Pitt, they couldn't get it done. Georgia right. Tech. Turnover chain. Exactly. It, it's funny you say it about Clemson. I, I think Clemson, although they are not the same as they were with Deshaun Watson, I think they're a better running football team now. And part of that's because of the quarterback and what they do with the design runs with him. Now, he can't throw it as good as Deshaun Watson yet, but they do have weapons. Ray Ray McLeod, Deion Kent on the outside. They can get go routes. But Kelly Bryant, man, Kelly, Kelly Bryant running the football is like a tailback in the backfield. He's what Jalen Hurts is to Alabama. He's that to Clemson. And Dabo's not afraid to call design runs. No. And the reason you do it is because you get an extra man. You get an extra man advantage running your quarterback. That may be where they have an advantage. Alabama is known for a great run defense. Yeah. Last, like in November, they're giving up 150 yards a game on the right. ground against the run. And if I'm Clemson, I'm going to test Christian Miller. I'm going to test those guys and see if they're ready to step up and see if they're healthy. The only argument I would say to that is last year, the reason that offense was ridiculous because it was Wayne Gallman, Deshaun Watson, and the passing game. Who's and the Mike back? Mike Williams making ridiculous right. plays. Who's, the, who's the back you fear Etienne on this offense? Is, he, you don't fear him, but he's making plays. No, first of all, I do fear him when he gets the ball. Yeah. He, he can't pass block. I mean, go, go ahead and put that in a box over here because that's not happening. Right. So they become very predictable with him. They, they just don't have the, the running game last year was so hard to defend when Watson's doing this in the red zone right. and you had the QB ISO and all that stuff to, to look at and just the jet sweep on top of that. There's so many options. I don't feel like there's a back that I fear with Clemson. So I think that's the running game's a little bit less mm -hmm. um, potent than it was a year right. ago. Well, and it'd be interesting to hear, Todd, to me, when Clemson walks out this year, they're going to look more like Alabama than they have the last two years. Because mm. mm. Clemson looks like a really good football mm. team now. Before, they had some good players, and now Lyman, everybody looks alike. And when you start looking at that, the pressure's going to be a little bit more on Clemson because Alabama's playing the underdog role, got the chip on the shoulder. They didn't even want to send guys. They don't think we should be here. This Lost to them a year ago. Yeah. I mean, it, it, no. the list goes on. No. I mean, so, it, so Coach Saban's got the perfect edge to create, and, and Dabo's the best at saying, ah, we're not very good. Right, we're not. Right. It's, it's hard to say that. Well, when right does now. Nick ever get to good. do this? No. Very rarely. No. Ever. Very rarely. Legitimately play the card. Yeah. Legitimately not play the card, yeah. yes. Uh, and, and, the, and the other thing, if you look at it, the offensive family that has given Alabama trouble has been that Hugh Freeze, Gus Malzahn, uh, Chad Morris, yep. and that's this offense. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a different quarterback. So can Kelly Bryant do some of the things that have given them problems that those other great quarterbacks have done at those three places that have beaten them? And on the other side of the ball, there was one player who left the game last year, and if he didn't leave the game, I thought Alabama was going to win. That was Bo Scarborough. Now, he has not yeah. been the same this year. And they year, couldn't move the ball. They're not using him as much. And, I, you know, you have to wonder if, if he's just not physically as healthy as he was. Damon Harris has run, run well. But can Scarborough, with a little bit of time and, and gearing up for this one last game, can he be that impact back? Because he was really, he was the MVP of Alabama. Do you think he's their best rock. back, oh. Scarborough? Right now? In, in general, do you think he's their best back? I, I think Harris has been a better back this year. Right. But I... I just wonder if this is the time with a little bit of time to, to get ready for this game, if he's going to have a, a coming out party. Harris looks like Michael Turner to me. Well, Alabama likes to line up and just gnarl you. I mean, just <laughs> gnarl how you. How do you, how do you. How do you spell that? Yeah. Oh, no. You get it. And then they throw some play action. 
Right. If you start running it and they start throwing them back at you, now I've done that. It's not fun. So they've, <laughs> you, they've got can, to be able to run the ball. Can you imitate at one point, Coach? Just give us a good gnarling face. Gnarling. Like, whatever they do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You can tell it's late. It's, it's late. late. It's late. late. Max never going to throw it. That's why he's a gamer. Whatever you need for the coach. Uh, All right. The no, other when you look out there and yours are going in and they're coming out faster and they're going in, it ain't good, brother. <laughs> the other semifinal is the Rose.